Dread stars Carl Urban, Olivia Thurnby, and Lena Headey. It was directed by Pete Travis. It was released on Blu-ray January 8th, 2013, and runs 1 hour, 36 minutes. Dread is based on the character from IDW, 2000 AD, and most recently, DC Comics. I've always been a comic book fan, but I've never had any exposure to Judge Dread comics, so I'm coming into this review as a novice of the character. In the overwhelming crime-ridden streets of Mega City 1, law enforcement officers known as judges are sent out to act as on-the-spot judges, juries, and executioners on each call. The crime is so out of control, it seems normal for the people living there, as emphasized by a short scene of a janitor cleaning up pools of blood and collecting bodies. Judge Dredd, played by Carl Urban, is assigned to train a new recruit in the field, Anderson, who has psychic powers, played by Olivia Thirlby. He lets Anderson choose her first call, a triple homicide at a megastructure called Peach Trees, which is basically a small city or housing project within a giant skyscraper, which becomes the setting for the rest of the movie. When they respond to the call, they learn about Madeline Madrigal, aka Mama, and her clan, who have a stranglehold over all of Peach Trees. And once she finds out there are two judges in her territory, she locks the place down and orders them dead. The judges eventually find out the Mama clan is responsible for the sole production, manufacturing, and distribution of a new drug called Slow-Mo, a substance that makes the brain feel like it's moving at 1% its normal speed. Mama resides atop peach trees, so it's a mad dash to survive the 200-story megastructure to pass sentence on her. Let's get one of the big stars of the show out of the way, and that's the slow-mo. Having the drug in the movie is an awesome excuse to use some awesome slow-mo effects. At one point, there's a slow-mo firefight. Well, I say firefight. It's more like dread massacring a room. Anyway, the slow-mo is cut in with these violent one-second high-speed bursts from his machine gun that's as visceral as you can get. It's awesome. Very well shot and edited. The slow-mo effect has an oversaturated, sharpened, crystallized look. It stands out amongst the gloomy setting and looks like where most of the 3D aspects of the film reside because they stand out even on the normal Blu-ray. And truthfully, some of it doesn't look very good. The colors pop so much that things seem to look unrealistic and out of place. But on the other hand, you're supposed to be seeing a narcotic reaction, so the extreme exaggeration is probably justified. The peach tree's building is grimy and run down with a mostly green-colored hue, yellow lights poking through dingy, dark green-colored doors bursts of red and yellow during heavy gunfire. The bold colors on dark remind me of Punisher Warzone. At times, the movie feels like a comic book, and you can almost visualize things happening inside panels on a page. Anderson's psychic abilities are used in clever ways tied to the story. She only has to touch someone to learn things about them, or use more of her powers to enter someone's mind. It's powerful enough that at one point, she leaves a suspect literally pissing themselves in fear. Carl Urban does an excellent job. His performance and appearance is badass. You get the impression that the character is a veteran, by the book's judge, who's seen too much shit in his time. Any Dread comic fan out there, let me know how he stacks up versus the comic books. Something he did throughout the movie stood out for me, and that's that Anderson's evaluation doesn't stop just because they're in the most trouble they've ever been in. They're in life and death situations, but Dredd is still training her, asking her what she should do, or what proper procedure is. I thought that was pretty cool. One more thing to note, this movie is violent and graphic with a capital G, with some bits being downright disgusting, so be prepared for some graphic ultraviolence. I don't think I should even describe some of the things that happen. Overall, Dread is one of my favorite comic book movies, even though I'm not very familiar with the character. It's paced quite well, not too long and doesn't overstay its welcome. Extremely violent, fun, entertaining, well made, and feels like a comic book or graphic novel. Emphasis on the graphic. Come to life. 
8.5 out of 10. The America of the post-apocalyptic future is an irradiated wasteland, a vast, ultraviolent world where criminals control the mean city streets. Ultimate law enforcers like Dredd, Carl Urban, from Star Trek, and his new partner, Anderson, Olivia Thirlby, from The Darkest Hour, are judges, the only force battling for justice. Dispatched by the central authority, the judge's target is Mama, Lena Hetty from Game of Thrones, a ruthless boss bent on expanding her criminal empire through sales of slow-mo, a dangerous reality-altering drug. With dread calling the shots, the two judges declare full-scale war on crime in this unrelenting and brutal three-dimensional thrill ride. Special Features Mega City Masters 35 Years of Judge Dread Featurette Dread Featurette Day of Chaos The Visual Effects of Dread 3D Featurette Welcome to Peach Trees Featurette Dread's Gear Featurette The Third Dimension Featurette and Dread Motion Comic Prequel This is Judge Dredd. In case some people have forgotten, there's a block operates under the same rules as the rest of the city. 